Hey guys, Max here. Since I posted a YouTube video on Anang's Books Palmam, as well as a post on Reddit on Books Palmam, I've been getting some questions. Some of those questions were, can you use a stylus uh, with Books Palmam, or can you use a keyboard? So I just figured, let me record a video. I think this would be the best way to answer those questions. So here we have Books Palmam, just for the reference, I decided to show if you could use Apple Pencil, if you could use Onyx Books Pen Pencil, I don't know what you call it. And then I have the, the S Pen from, uh, I think this is the Pro model, if I'm not wrong. No, it's not Pro, it's just the Samsung S Pen. And then I have here different. So here I have a uh, pen that also has a pointer that you could use as a stylus. Of course, then there's the, the regular pen that has a soft tip. Here is an active type of stylus that you could buy it on Amazon or any of those like Temo or AliExpress. It's very cheap. And then the basic stylus so let's start with those so there are two apps that i decided to test this out with we have the google keeps so let's try using these so here you have this open obviously you can see the apple pencil does not work Let's try the one from Onyx. As you can see, it does not work. I mean, this is obvious. It does. It lacks the appropriate layering that some of the other books devices have. But just for the reference, so you could see none of those work. So let me put this to the side. Then we have a basic pen with a soft tip. As you can see, it's slow, but it works. So let me get into an eraser. I mean, if that's something that you're looking for. So let's see. super slow. There's definitely a noticeable lag. All right, that doesn't work for me. It does work. If you like that slow experience, then you could go for that. Then we have this one, which is the one that I usually use on tablets that do not support styluses. So, as you can see, it's a little bit better, still a little slow. Okay. Let me erase it. As you can see, this one is definitely better response than this one. And you can see that also responds better when it comes to touch. Then this is the cheapest thing that you could buy on any of those sites. So again, Like you can see, there's definitely a big lag. I don't know what else is right.
Okay, that works for you. It definitely does not work for me. All right, then let's look at the active stylus. So this one you have to charge and this is micro USB. What you do is you press the button and it becomes active. So pretty much the same lag, but it's, you know, it's definitely usable. And you can see it makes that sound. Okay, let me try writing. It's really weird writing it from an angle. So it's definitely usable and the fact that it has active, it kind of recognizes the buttons on the, on the bottom better. So this is Google Keep. Let's try using OneNote, which kind of works better with, um, with uh, the ones that support Wacom, especially the latest ones with um, GPU in them. All right. Okay. So let's look at the app optimization. Okay. So there's nothing here so far that So there's stay active in the background, volume for faster app startup. So nothing here that kind of helps with using any of those, as you can see an option on other devices. So it comes up with the keyboard, but let me see, oh here. So here's the pan experience. Again, let me do the circle, still a delay. It definitely responds better with an active because comparing to as you can see if I use this one like you really firmly have to press it and then it's just super slow experience so if you're looking at those pens that have a special tip on them to use on touch displays it's pretty known experience so look at the cheap option. Again, let's look here. Okay, we got that. It's pretty soft. But it's definitely better than this. All right. Let's look at the last option, which I consider being the best for most of my non um, pencil friendly devices. There, look at this delay. But again, like I said, if you're looking to maximize use with Palma, you could definitely do that. All right, so let's see. Hello. Let's do this one. Hello. Okay. It works. So for those of you who are wondering if you could use a pencil, yes, you can. Is it a best experience? I don't think so. So here I have a keyboard that I already linked it with this device. Let me move this a little bit forward so you guys could see. Um, okay, so I already, I already linked it and the way to do it is you go here, 
you go into Bluetooth and then you just pair it. All right. So yes, you can use this. It's pretty nice experience. Not the fastest, but it, it's workable. So let's say the only thing I can figure it out is how to move to the next page. Now this supports um, multi, uh, I guess, gesture, but I just can't figure it out how to get to the next page. Like if you go here, Let's see, you go here, oh, there you go. So it kind of does things, but not the best experience. So let's go here. Let's go into Google Keeps. You go here. All right. Pretty slow experience. I hope you guys see what I'm typing. So again, let's go. So this actually is not a bad experience. It's pretty responsive. So if you need a device that can handle fast typing. On the go, maybe this is the option. Okay. So yes, you can type on this. Now, like you can see you have, although this is so big, I don't know if where I'm clicking. So if I wanna click here, it goes in the title. If I go click here somewhere, it's on, so I don't really know where. Like if I need to edit, okay, so I have to bring it all the way down. As you can see, I can. Uh, boy. No. I'm trying to highlight more. No. Like, you know, when you want to highlight part of it. No, okay. So let's just say you could type on it, but you can't really do much anything else. <laughs> it's pretty uh, annoying. And look at that, I made a mistake there. So overall, I think if you need a device that can handle typing on a go, if you don't wanna use like the thumbs for typing on the device itself and you have one of those portable keyboards, I think this is also an option. As you can see, it's pretty, it's pretty responsive. So if you wanna erase, look how fast this thing works. It does work. It's just, it's not an ultimate experience that you get on, let's say on a device that's actually was built to do that. So let's go here again. So let's try here. It's just very, <laughs> it's just really tough to type from the side. So it works and the response is pretty good. Let me see if I could do this here, same thing. So if you wanna use like a trackpad for this or touchpad, it's definitely not um, a great experience, but at least it's better than Google Keep says, I'm not getting that big Part on the display. So this one is much better, like you're able to use this. Let me see if I could highlight this. Okay. All right, no. Let me see if I can use two. No. 
Okay. So obviously this design, this device was not designed for any of this, but if you guys need to have a small portable device that could handle using a keyboard, then it's definitely an option. Okay, if you have any questions, please vote below. I'll try to do what I can. I'm getting also questions on all the applications working. My response is this is an Android device. So if you have a specific app that works on your Android device, I don't see why would there be an issue with this specific device, okay? Questions, if you have them, please post below. Thanks for watching.